Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. Glad to have you aboard this afternoon as we get set up to discuss only the biggest news in Edmonton Oilers land over the past month. That one, Connor McDavid getting back into the Art Ross race and obviously doing so in which has been an up and down past couple of weeks here since the trade deadline for the Edmonton Oilers as we try to shake out the rest of the standings and get towards that clinching moment here coming up shortly. Last night a point against the St. Louis Blues in a game that quite literally from all accounts could have gone either way depending on how the NHL chooses to call a hockey game on a given night. But that that aside friends, we want to talk about Connor McDavid and basically I know individual trophies, individual awards don't matter at any point but again it's just something every single year it seems to be tradition for Connor McDavid. Not necessarily the slow start this year, but you know, the back half of the year he really starts getting into that final gear for playoffs. And this year it comes at an interesting cross uh, crossroads of, of course, chasing the Stanley Cup, high expectations, but also being right now after being named March's first star in the NHL, being right at that Art Ross scoring trophy race. And for me, you know, like everybody credited Connor McDavid early on once the Oilers started winning in November and December, is saying, yeah, Connor McDavid, he's committed to a more defensive game. He'll sacrifice offense for defense. The Oilers are going to win that way. Well, what we've seen out of Connor McDavid since is a continued effort to, of course, play defense, play the full 60 complete game that is required of your star center captain at a Stanley Cup level. But also, too, now, all of a sudden, the offense, right, that assist streak was unreal. He's going to hit 100 assists this year. And at the same time, have a 140, 150, possibly, point season that might just, by the end of it, even if he needs a five-point game at the end of the year, we literally have a documentary that's titled Whatever It Takes with Connor McDavid as a feature recovering from an injury. Whatever it takes at the end of the year, I imagine... Connor McDavid will indeed hit 1,000 points this year. So interesting to see how this all shakes out, but it just seems ever so crazy to me. And I mean, I was right there with a lot of folks doubting that the Edmonton Oilers could get the job done by mid-November based on how they started. Obviously, we are where we are now, and we're all grateful for it. But Connor McDavid was at the center of less than point per game in mid-November. Uh, struggling to really generate consistency in his game night in night out offensively seemed to be fighting the puck every chance he got and here we have it now number three in the NHL scoring race and not scoring race at 92 points 103 no top leader has 127 and Connor McDavid's got 126 between Kucherov, McKinnon and McDavid we are in for one heck of a treat down the stretch here but the beautiful part here is as well the Oilers are actually doing something that means something in the standings, right? This isn't a lost year where Connor McDavid wins the Art Ross. This is a year where it just kept getting better and better and better and better. Dipped down, got better, dipped down, got better as it goes this season. Now to say to those of you that said, well, Tyson, you're overreacting to the games against Toronto and Ottawa. Have you seen the performance from the Oilers that you saw in Toronto and Ottawa against LA, Anaheim, and St. Louis? I don't think so, right? I was only saying if those performances continued, the Oilers were in huge trouble. While well, they've since decided to start dictating hockey games, decided to start deciding we're going to win, and well, guess what? Now the Oilers racking up five points in their last six, and things looking mighty fine, trying to, here within the last 10 games of the year, chase down Vancouver for potentially first place in the Pacific Division. Friends, I'm Tyson, this is Dolany TV. I've been off for like a week at this point. That's a lot of talk and I'll get geared up here later on, but for right now I am up on, out of here.